Calling Dad. Hey, Kaden. Can you hear me all right? Go for a ride. Oh, you want to go for a ride? Hmm. You want me to take Kaden just cares about the things that truly matter in life. It's friends, it's right. family. Simple back? pleasures. For him, it's car rides. And, right. and so that's sort of become our, our thing. Across the city. Yeah. He is a quadriplegic in a wheelchair. He's nonverbal. He's been through more in his life in 12 years than most people have. He's had both of his hips redone, 15 or 16 different surgeries, body cast. It's an unfortunate side effect of, of sitting in a chair for your entire life. I've long passed up the, I, I want to play catch with my son someday. We have to choose different things to aspire to. It's just communication. He understands everything around him, but I don't know what he wants to tell me. Technology hasn't solved that for us yet. Caden can't speak on his own, and his hands don't work well enough for sign language or typing. He is able to hit buttons on his Television. Dynavox and then have that device speak. Television. It dawned on me that the Echo might be able to understand that. Echo, play the movie Sing. Getting Sing from Prime Video. And that just opened up everything. While we were out, he took it upon himself to drive over to the Echo Show and call his grandpa. Caden then prompted him to go for a ride. That was the most independent interaction with somebody he'd ever had in his lifetime at that point. He's this wonderful, outgoing individual who does have ways to communicate. I have this, this attachment to Blake because he's, he's kind of a future version of my son. He remind he, he sort of even looks like my son. Echo, turn Caden room lights red. I don't see how Caden can participate in the workforce in a productive manner. He needs to grow and develop to the point to where he can assemble language of some sort. That's what we want. I want him to find his own voice. Okay, okay, do you want Daddy to drive? Mm. Can you pick me on the list? Down below. It's going to be technology and artificial intelligence that literally creates the basis for the kind of future that he can have that's not based on people caring for him and doing things for him. If I can find a way to live one day longer than Caden, um, I would know that I accomplished um, that, that his life would have been taken care of as well as somebody could manage it. It's very difficult to figure out how to deal with all of the care that he needs if we're not here to do it. <laughs>